Hi everyone, my name is Farid Zedat. I am PhD Senior Application Engineer within Altair. Today I want to speak about how to determine the control angle using flux to D. So for example, we do have this permanent magnet machine and uh, it's uh, supplied with uh, current. So it's an, an IPCN supply. So we impose the current, we impose uh, the speed, um, and we have to know uh, the initial position. There is a, a video uh, how to compute uh, the initial position uh, using flux. So uh, please have a look on it. Then uh, we have to impose uh, control angle. And the control angle is gamma here. Yeah? And uh, we have to impose it in the current uh, function. So we have uh, the current RMS value, uh, we have uh, the omega and the pulsation, the electric pulsation corresponding to the frequency and the speed uh, of the working point. Then we do have this uh, gamma. Gamma in our case uh, it's uh, equal to uh, 58 and the current uh, is 900, uh, 900 sorry, uh, amps. Yeah, so this is a solid project and they do have uh, this torque for instance so I can plot the torque okay and they have uh, this value mean value 438 uh, newton meter so in order to determine this uh, gamma uh, first of thing uh, first of all we have to here to uh, delete the results and we have to uh, convert uh, the project to uh, magnetostatic. Let's <coughs> make the conversion now. I will call it uh, rated MS. And uh, maybe since there is only D1, I will call it uh, rated MS 2D. Yeah, so then the conversion uh, will start. Okay. And uh, there are some things uh, you have to fix because uh, from the transient application there are solid conductors and in magnetostatic application there is no uh, solid conductor. So the magnets are defi were defined as solid conductors, now they are inactive. Then we have to uh, redefine them again. Uh, the magnet 2 as well uh, with the material uh, corresponding to it. And we have uh, now uh, to redefine the current sources. Uh, the value of the current is uh, current multiplied by omega by time 1. Uh, as you can see, time 1 now is uh, switched from time to time 1. Uh, no problem here. We can uh, just multiply time 1 uh, by 0. Uh, so I will replace it by 0 here. And actually, it's uh, it's the same equation of the current uh, for a given time step. Here, I will just impose zero, but I can impose one second or something like this. Once again, uh, this is an image, a picture of a given instant uh, from the transient application, and as you can see, the, all the current now are function of uh, Gamma, and this is what I want to vary actually. So uh, I want to impose the initial position on the rotor. So the rotor now is a multi-static, yeah, because we don't have movement uh, or a kinematic equations within a magnetostatic application. Uh, the project is uh, ready now. Maybe uh, just check the orientation uh, of the of your uh, magnet. Okay, and we can create the scenario, a new scenario, and in the scenario, first of all, I will impose the initial position to uh, 11, so the rotor will be fixed to 11, and I will go to vary gamma, so for the moment, gamma is not defined uh, as I want to apply, and We'll have a look on gamma, and it's defined as a formula. I want to drive it by the scenario, so let's define it by 
parameter control the VL scenario. I come back again to my scenario. Uh, I will uh, have a look in it again. Not new scenario, but I have to edit the scenario. And now I have gamma here, so I have to uh, to um, drive it from value 0 to 90 degree electrical value and by step of 1 or 2, okay? And then uh, you are ready. I will just open uh, the solvent project, maybe uh, here and then plot the gamma is varied from 0 to 90 okay and this is the initial position I, I varied the, the current here but it's a subject of another uh, topic so let's uh, see now the torque and this is the torque function of gamma uh, for the current supply uh, 900 amps and uh, we can directly recover uh, the value of uh, the control angle gamma that give us the, the maximum uh, torque so here the maximum torque when I vary the, the gamma is at uh, 445 newton meter and like as you can see we can have uh, 58 uh, degree here uh, for gamma yeah that's all i hope that uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, please feel free to ask a question on the forum or ask us a question to the, to the support or uh, you can also let a comment uh, for the video thanks a lot bye